are in Bohemia in the year 1403, where you find yourself in the role of Henry, the son of a village blacksmith, who is in the service of a local lord, Sir Radzig Kobila, and is starting a new life, a life that will be shaped by your choices. Right now, Henry is trying to deal with a gang of bandits that has set up camp near Ratai. Rushing into a skirmish against overwhelming odds rarely ends well. Often, a more prudent approach is called for. There are no sights in archery. Your accuracy is determined only by careful aim and your archery skill level. There are six strike zones in combat, five around the sides and one in the middle. You can slash or stab. And at a higher level, you can also chain attacks into combinations based on authentic 15th century sword fighting techniques. Sometimes defense is the best form of attack. Both strikes and blocks drain stamina, so it's wise to dodge blows or, better again, perform perfect blocks, blocking right at the moment your opponent starts to strike. This saves stamina and allows you to repost immediately. Sometimes, an opponent who's losing the fight will yield. But it's up to you whether you let him live or not. Treating wounds isn't easy unless you're well prepared. Bleeding won't stop by itself, and if you don't bandage a bleeding wound, you may bleed out and die. A bandage will staunch the bleeding, but won't heal the wound. You can only heal yourself by sleeping, visiting a healer, or to some extent by means of food or alcohol. But if you've acquired good alchemy skill, and you've collected the right herbs, you can brew remedies to heal yourself as well as other useful potions. There are numerous horses with varied stats in the game. Some are faster, some can carry more weight, while others are less skittish in combat. All horses can be additionally modified with harnesses, armor, caparisons, or various types of horseshoes. When riding, you can give your horse its head and it will stick to the path you're on, leaving you to enjoy the surrounding countryside. But you can also take the reins and spur your mount on whichever way you want to go. The open world of Kingdom Come Deliverance spans 16 square kilometers. All the locations are modeled exactly according to historical plans and the preserved remnants of medieval settlements. Whether townhouses, cottages, inns, farm buildings, or castles, The citizens of these locations live their own lives, regardless of the player, although they may ask for your help. What? Good Christians, don't leave me to die. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. Everyone works, whether laborer, cook, peasant, monk, scribe, or executioner. When evening comes, it's time for rest, and people of all walks of life go to the tavern. But the evening is also the time when thieves and other unsavory characters come crawling out of the woodwork. 
And if that's the kind of company you enjoy, you can join them too. Drunks are easy prey for pickpocketing, like this merchant. Naturally, merchants don't carry their goods around with them all the time. At night, they lock them away safely in a trunk at home. Now you have the merchant's key. It will be easier to burgle his house under cover of darkness. Though you have to watch out for guard dogs, the medieval security system. They wake up the household and alert people to the presence of an intruder. Fortunately for the thief, it's not too hard to silence them. Now it's time to use the stolen key. Once inside, you still have to move cautiously. Many merchants have armed guards to protect their wares. Like this one, who fortunately has fallen asleep on the job. When picking a lock, you need to find the precise position for the lock pick and then turn the lock mechanism without letting it go. The better the lock, the more resistance it puts up when turning it, making it harder to hold the lock pick steady. The loud sound of a snapping lock pick is even worse than the barking of a dog. What was that? As soon as someone catches you in the act, they'll alert the guards. But if you're lucky enough and skillful enough, you may be able to avoid them by stealth before they catch you. Stop Not right this time there. though. You're surrounded and escape is unlikely to succeed. Fighting with the long arm of the law isn't Don't worth it if you ever want to return to the same town. Better to surrender and save the last remnants of your reputation. With high speech skill, it's possible to talk your way out of such difficult situations. It's important to choose the right approach. Some people will give in to intimidation, others to honeyed words. The likelihood of success is determined both by your level of speech skill, your appearance, and your reputation. But since Henry's name is Mud at the moment, he'll either get to see the inside of a jail cell or pay a fat fine. Of course, if you choose to be an upstanding citizen, there are honest ways to get better equipment. All the clothing, armor, and weaponry in the game is modeled on authentic artifacts dating from the 15th century. And since real armor is worn in layers, the Kingdom Come clothing system also works in layers. Henry has a total of 14 slots for armor and clothing. Six for the body, four for the head, and four for the legs. Weapons, rings, and spurs also have their own slots. The damage you suffer in combat is affected by the degree of protection of each and every layer of armor but the form and function of the armor components are also important. Pauldrons covering the elbows won't save you from a strike to the shoulder. Even low quality armor can protect against an otherwise fatal blow, but it's much heavier than good quality armor. Clothing and armor don't serve only a defensive purpose though. Their quality, color, ornament, and momentary cleanliness directly affect how people react to you and also how visible or conspicuous you are. When you've chosen what you want from the trader, it's time to agree on the price. You don't have to haggle if you don't want to, but a Groshen saved is a Groshen earned. The success or failure of your haggling is affected by your speech and charisma. You're a right pinch person. You can really try and push your luck, but the more extreme the offer, the faster the trader will lose patience with you. So, unless you have a golden tongue, it's better to meet him or her halfway. Aye, that would do it.
you can now equip the purchased items. But you don't develop your character just by acquiring better equipment. You have four main stats. Strength, Agility, Vitality, and Speech, which underpin all your other abilities. All the stats and skills in the game are improved by practice. Haggling trains your speech skill and combat your strength and agility. In addition to the basic stats, you have separate combat skills for fighting with all types of weapons or unarmed. There are also 10 non-combat skills in the game. You gradually get better at everything you do, whether drinking, <laughs> hunting, or alchemy. Most of the stats and skills also have unlockable perks that offer you new gameplay options. The best way to improve all skills is through the quests. In addition to the main story-driven line, which plays out against a background of actual historical events, the game also offers dozens of side quests and activities. Finally, we'll show you part of one of the main quests. But first, we have to move to Sasau. For that, you can use fast travel. That is, if you've already been there before, Fast travel isn't teleportation. Time flows, your character gets hungry and tired while physically moving through the game world, and can encounter both pleasant and unpleasant surprises along the way, like ambushes, just as when you're traveling normally. Where we have just fast traveled to Sasau in pursuit of one of the game's main quests. Although the monastery is the dominant feature in Sasau, we're going to another sanctuary this time, the Ale House. We're trying to track down a mysterious German knight who's somehow involved in an affair with counterfeit royal currency. I'm trying to find out about that German knight. Of course, ask away. And do you know where he went? Oh, he asked me about crossroads in the woods north of Rovna. I got the impression he was looking for someone. Let's move forward to the junction the innkeeper talked about. We can see from a distance that something isn't right here, so it might not be a bad idea to save the game. The game saves automatically at important moments, but there are also two ways to save it manually. The first is to sleep in your own bed, and the second, to drink Savior Schnapps. Savior Schnapps not only saves the game, it's also an alcoholic drink that bolsters Henry's courage for what's yet to come. Like in real life, drunkenness creeps up on you slowly. Good God, what a bloody mess. Now you have another chance to test your lockpicking skill, this time with no witnesses. Success and valuable loot. This is valuable. They must have been in a hurry or they'd never have left it behind. Under the influence of alcohol, you have a number of advantages. Greater strength and endurance, and if you don't overdo it, you can even make a better impression on people. That is, until the hangover kicks in. Just like in real life. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard something. First impressions make a difference. If you turn up in fine shining armor, folk will take you for a knight. I am at your service, a knight. If, on the contrary, your armor is dirty or bloody, you won't get such a warm welcome. Persuasion can be skipped if you base your claims on known facts. We took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I, I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. I swear. Gah! Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Fuck! Stop! Stop right there! 
Now you'll have to chase down the German knight and confront him. A duel with an opponent in plate armor requires different tactics than hacking at a lightly armored bandit. An opponent in plate armor has to be worn down or outwitted. As you can see, wearing a helmet with a visor limits your vision, but provides protection of the whole face. This is a substantial advantage that your adversary doesn't have. Not all duels have to end in bloodshed. You can take mercy on a defeated opponent, disarm, or even rob him. Like with everything else in Kingdom Come Deliverance, the choice is all yours.